Welcome to um, Awesome Window Manager. This is their default setup. So all I've really done is um, fixed my screens so my dual screens are correct. So all I did with that was uh, added the line and auto start to get my screens the way I want them and here we go. So we're going to add a scratchpad terminal to Awesome Window Manager, like a little pop-up terminal that you can toggle on and off. So I've collected most of the scripts that I found around the place and um, I'm pretty much just going to copy and paste them in here. But I will, uh, I guess I'll add them to Pastebin and uh, put the link in the description for you to copy and paste yourself if need be. Now I'll be using uh, URXVT in this um, example so you'll have to change what needs to be changed to suit your terminal whether you're using suckless terminal or termite or whatever. So let's begin. So if, oh yeah also I've got the scratch pad. I'll, I'll add the link to um, this uh, script in the github guy that I got it off. So first off we're going to um, import the script so we'll, we'll be doing this as local so we'll stick you right in there and we'll add a little uh, we'll add a little comment there so we know so the script's called scratch so we're just going to import the entire script and uh, toggle from there on. Now we need to go down to where the key binds start. So there are all the F keys, these are the mod keys and I don't see a mod D so we'll use mod D. A, B, C and D would be here. So we'll add our key bind in there. Like so, so mod D will now function and it'll now call the scratch script and the toggle function and do its things. So as you can see, we've got scratch toggle down here, scratch.toggle. So we'll be calling that to toggle on and off. So that's that. And now we need, where are we? We need to go to our rules. So our rules are way down here somewhere. Here we go, and we'll stick it right here. So we'll just go scratch pad. And this is a rather large rule. I got this from someone else's GitHub that's using it. I can't remember where I got this one from, but anyway. Oh yeah, because he's using screen uh, with variables here we're going to have to import them at the top so our rules all set so it's going to look for the instance of scratch or the class of scratch and then it's going to apply these properties floating on top and all the rest of it and I'm not sure what this callback is but I left it there just in case and so we're going to come up the top here and add uh, we'll stick you right here somewhere. And the screen height and screen width. And we'll add a dash dash scratch pad to that so we know. So all we have to do if we want to remove it is search for the scratch pads. Actually what I might do to make it a little bit cleaner so we're not so spread out is add them right there. Now let's reload and see if we get any errors. Everything seems to be fine, so super D. And there's our scratch pad terminal. Toggle it away. And excellent. Cool. So hopefully you found that informative and I'll get everything ready for you in the, the uh, subscription where you can find everything. And uh, enjoy.